we've learned about the, the how the income tax works, and so now what we're going to do is look at um, how sort of some of the other parts of the income tax system work. Specifically in this section, we're going to look at uh, deductions and credits. Now, we, you've probably heard those two words, but uh, let me be specific about what these two words mean because they are not the same thing. A deduction on your tax is the amount taken off your income. So this is before taxes are actually calculated. So it's taking a, taking on a certain amount off of your income or what, it, what your perceived income is um, according to the federal government. Now a credit is something that's taken off on the back end after the taxes are calculated. All right, so a credit is the amount taken off how much your taxes are. So the key things to remember are that a deduction comes out of your income and a credit comes out of your taxes. All right, so let's start out. Say we have a person who makes $50,000, and we're going to say that person is going to file single. All right, so we've seen how to do this before. What we're going to do is single taxes, $50,000. You take the $5,081.25 plus... 25% of their taxable income. Whoops. Apologize. Over $50,000. So I'm going to calculate that. Um, again, we are in the 36,900 bracket. So that is 13,100. I should remember that. And you end up with $8,356.25. All right, so $8,356.25. We saw that earlier, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this person. We're going to give this person some deductions and, and tax credits and kind of see how that all works. All right, so currently we pay 8356.25 in taxes. So let's introduce a $4,000 deduction. Okay. This is, it says make in taxes, but that should be say pay, obviously, in taxes. Um, bothers me. Um, anyways, $4,000 deduction means that now I, instead of starting and pretending the person made $50,000, we pretend the person made essentially $46,000. All right, so we made fifty thousand, four thousand dollar deduction. Remember, deductions come out of income, and so what we do is we say we're still in this thirty six nine hundred bracket. By the way, if that had put us in the previous bracket, we'd have to use the previous bracket. Um, so forty six thousand minus thirty six nine hundred. to write that down. So that person made, in this case, 9,100 over the 36,9. So tax bracket would say the amount of taxes taxes you're going to pay are 8,000, I mean not 8,000, 5,081 dollars. 
and 25 cents plus 25 percent of, in this case, $9,100. So type that in your calculator. And you end up seven thousand three hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty five cents in taxes. So notice something. First off, this was we were in the twenty five percent tax bracket. That's a that's important. Twenty five percent tax bracket. A four thousand dollar deduction meant essentially you paid one thousand dollars less in taxes. Now why is it one thousand dollars? Again this has to do with that we're in the twenty five percent tax bracket. Twenty five percent of four thousand is a thousand. So that's sort of why we went down by a thousand. Okay. By the way, it's not that clear cut. If the deduction, if the deduction put you in a different tax bracket, it would be a little bit uh, trickier to to explain. But essentially, four thousand dollar deduction doesn't mean you pay four thousand dollars less in taxes. It means you pay whatever you paid. Um, excuse me, the percentage. Of four thousand dollars, it means that four thousand dollars came out of your income, not off of your taxes. All right, so I want you to try this example: married couple makes one hundred twelve thousand and has six thousand five hundred worth of deductions. We're going to assume they, um, since they're a married couple, the way I phrased it. Assume they're filing jointly. So married jointly. Again, push pause, take about five seconds, and then do the problem. All right, so if this is the scenario, then what we're going to do is we're going to take this 112, since it's 6,500 worth of deductions, we're going to subtract that off the actual income. So to the government's eyes, 105,500 dollars is what it's going to look like that couple, that married couple made. Okay. Now married filing jointly. That is that falls between the seventy three eight hundred and the one hundred forty eight thousand eight hundred fifty. So subtract seventy three eight hundred, and you will get well thirty one thousand seven hundred if I've done my math correctly, right? So, since we're in the 73,800 to 148,850 category, what we do is we take the $10,162.50 and add on 25% of the excess, all right? So 10, 162.5, add on 25% of the excess. And this would mean we pay $18,087.50 in taxes. Okay. So that's how the deduction works. Again, the key key important part to have is that the deduction deduction comes off of income before we get uh, 
before we start doing our subtracting and all that kind of stuff. All right, so example three, basically we already have calculated this since we've calculated it um, a few times, we can just say we know that, again, 8, 3, 5, 6, 0. 0.25. You can do this on your own, or we've done it a few times. So $8,356.25. If we've filed singly. So if they currently, if they had no deductions, they'd pay 83.56.25 in taxes. Now if we introduce a $4,000 tax credit, we can go through all of the rigmarole, but basically what's going to happen is we're going to start We're going to calculate taxes exactly the same way we just, we, uh, excuse me, that we did earlier. So we're going to take the $5,081.25 and plus 25 cents of your $13,100. That's what gave us our 8356.25. And then after we've calculated that, the tax credit of $4,000, okay, $4,000 tax credit, what that's going to do is that's going to come off of the $8,356.25. So we're going to subtract a $4,000 tax credit. So now the person is going to pay $4,300. $56.25 in taxes. So it should be fairly clear that if, if you recall, the $4,000 deduction made about a $1,000 difference in our taxes at the $50,000 income level. A $4,000 tax credit makes a $4,000 difference. Um, at the $50,000 income level. In fact, at almost any income level, that $4,000 tax credit uh, works the exact same way. $4,000 credit is $4,000. Um, $4,000 deduction uh, does not mean $4,000 off your taxes. It means $4,000 off your income. So credit, we do like this at the end of our taxes. So I want you to do this. I want you to, again, push pause on the video, calculate how much a married couple, if they were filing jointly, would have to pay in taxes if they started with $154,000 worth of income and had $10,000 worth of tax credits. All right, so hopefully you did that, and we'll get going. So if we have $154,000 worth of income, that puts me, or that puts the married couple, I should say, in the over 148850 category. Okay, all right, let's take 154, whoops, excuse me, 154000 Minus 148,850, and you get 5,150. So, taxes say, since I'm in that category, take 28,925 plus 28% of the excess over that 148,000. So 28,925 
plus 28 percent of 5150 and we get that right now thirty thousand dollars three hundred and sixty seven dollars would be would be your amount of tax if we didn't have any credits so since we have ten thousand dollars worth of credits that means that your total tax burden is twenty thousand three hundred and sixty seven dollars so that's how credits work okay and in general like i said it's better to have a four thousand dollar tax credit than it is to have a four thousand dollar tax deduction in fact if we're talking about dollars to dollars $10,000 tax credit is better than a $10,000 deduction, okay? Now, a lot of people will have combinations, and we'll look at uh, this in the next couple of slides. So, I want you to try to calculate what's going to happen if we have a single person who makes $62,000 and has $3,000 in deductions, and $1,200 in tax credits. How much should this person pay if that's the case? Push pause on the video and try this on your own. All right, so hopefully you've done this. Now, starting off, before we get any, anywhere else, the first thing we have to do is take care of our deductions. So the government is going to, instead of assuming we made 62000 well, it's going to take this deduction of 3000 and make that a 59000 All right? So our income that's taxable is 59000 Now, that 59000 puts us in the category of over... 36,900 but under 89,000. So 36,900 Just type that in your calculator and I got 22,100. So tax burden would say 5,000 Eighty-one dollars and twenty-five cents, plus twenty-five percent of the twenty-two thousand one hundred, that gives us ten thousand six hundred and six dollars. And 25 cents. Again, and that's if I calculated that right. Now, we've took care of the deductions right up front. And so now we have to take care of the tax credits. I have $1,200 in tax credits. So, That means my total amount that I have to pay is $9,406.25. $9,406.25. That's the total amount that uh, I would have to pay to the federal government in taxes. If that was me. Obviously, that's not me. All right, so I want you to try this on your own again. Uh, this, was, this is the last example of this section, so try this on your own and see what you come up with. Push pause, and then I'll, I'll uh, do this fairly quickly. All right, so... Um, I'll, like I said, I'll do this fairly quickly because we've done a couple. So, 4,500 
in deductions and a $91,000 income means that $86,500 is the income minus the deductions. So the difference between that and the category that we're in, so married filing jointly, we take $73,800 and you should get $12,000. 700. That's how much in excess of their category. And so the amount of taxes you pay should be 10,162.50 plus 25% of 12,700. When you calculate that, that comes out to $13,337.50. One last thing, take off your deductions, $6,200. And the total amount that you'll be taxed or that you should pay in taxes is $7,137.50. So hopefully you get a good idea about what it means to have, be a deduction, what it means to be a tax credit. Um, and, you know, obviously if we have the same amounts, it's better to have that same amount as a tax credit than a tax deduction.